live on NBC 12. This is News Watch 12 at 6. Good evening, I'm Jessica Jukage. Pure permits for a development on the Eagle River chain of lakes has been withdrawn. Kansas City-based developer the Delmark Group was looking to construct 18 piers on the Voyager Lake as part of their new crossing at Lake Forest condominium project. Last Thursday, project manager Zachary Nichols was granted a withdrawal of their application for the permits of the piers. The pier project was heavily criticized by residents with a change.org petition to stop the development, receiving nearly 3,000 signatures. Opponents have said that the initial measurements for the docks encroachment on the lake were incorrect and would cause safety and navigational concerns from boaters. A teen ATV driver suffered life-threatening injuries after a crash near the town of Wittenberg. The accident was reported on Nightingale Road at 4.35 p.m. Tuesday. A caller told Shano County Dispatch that the ATV had rolled over and the driver was unresponsive. Initial findings suggest the driver was traveling in a field area when the ATV rolled and left the driver pinned under the ATV. The driver was identified as a 13-year-old boy from the Wittenberg area. He was transported to Aspirus Wausau Hospital and then transferred to a hospital in Marshfield. His current medical condition is unknown. Jeff, we had a little bit of everything. Rain, a little bit of Yeah, snow. fog out there today. Some wind, rain, snowflakes earlier are now gone. But the rain and drizzle out there tonight, followed by what could be... If we're lucky, a little bit of sunshine across the region for tomorrow. Kind of side now, though, in Eagle River, looking at lots of cloudy skies, some rain and drizzle still out there currently. The pavement is wet and kind of a dreary night out there as we're going to watch the wind pick up tonight, too. We could see wind gusts near 30 miles per hour overnight tonight as the front has gone through and bringing that cooler, drier air in for us for tomorrow. The heavier rain showers now are pushing off into parts of Michigan. This is going to bring Ontario, by the way, a pretty good snow over here. Uh, but for us, no, the clear line is back over this way. That's going to try to make its way through overnight tonight and likely giving us a little bit of sunshine tomorrow. Not a lot, just a little throughout the afternoon. It's going to be a pretty nice day right here, but a windy day tomorrow with wind gusts near 35 miles per hour. As all of this is coming this way now, we're in good shape in a drying out phase for us currently. Temperatures 40 in Tomahawk, also for Medford. Uh, below average today, but there are still several 50 degree temperatures in our seven day forecast. Our forecast though for tonight, though, is cloudy and kind of drizzly out there. Low temperatures down near 31. Your full forecast is coming up, Jessica. Thank you, Jeff. Today, the Alzheimer's Association announced a $100 million milestone investment towards research-related grants in 2023. The commitment is now the nonprofit's largest single-year investment since it was established in 1980. The organization has a large global impact, which now includes more than $360 million invested towards thousands of active research projects across the globe. Locally here in Wisconsin, close to $450,000 was awarded to help improve the continuing research towards finding a cure to Alzheimer's. Along with the added research the grants will provide, the Alzheimer's Association dedication will help support global leadership initiatives. University of Wisconsin have seen declining enrollment numbers, but they may be bouncing back. Enrollment for the fall 2023 semester was up 1,700 students, which is the first increase the system has seen since 2014. 10 of 13 main campuses for the system saw new freshman enrollment go up. However, the same cannot be said for branch campuses, which saw their numbers drop by 4%. Several branch campuses have been shut down recently with UW-Milwaukee at Columbia County, UW Oshkosh at Fond du Lac, and UW Platteville at Richland, all ending classes in the previous years. A deer farm in Oneida County has received a positive result for the presence of CWD. The positive result came from a four-year-old white-tailed buck and the farm will remain under quarantine. State law will now renew a baiting and feeding ban in Oneida County for an additional two or three years. A park in Iron County now has a new outdoor fitness court. It was created to help make people stay active all year round. Cary Road Park is located on the east side of Cary Road. The outdoor gym is part of a national effort by Quartz Health Solutions and the National Fitness Campaign. The Iron County Health Department took on the mission to create this for the community and was made possible through the American Rescue Plan Act.
that when people come up on vacation, this is a very touristy area. So when people come on vacation, they have different areas where they can use. So yeah, we're hoping that um, it catches on. The court features a wide variety of workouts that can be scanned through a QR code. Melissa DiCarlo from the Iron County Health Department says staying active and healthy is important. You know, even with our young kids, we see them waning through the year. So be, having something like this, having it open to them so that they can come and do individual workouts to keep them strong for their next activity so that we have um, injury prevention. This is the third court of its kind in Wisconsin. The other two are in the southern part of the state. The court is a tent open for ages 14 and up. A new Marquette Law School poll survey found the Wisconsin registered voters favored Joe Biden over Donald Trump for the 2024 election. Biden currently is the choice of 50% of Wisconsin voters, while Trump is the pick for 48% of registered voters. Biden does, however, trail Republican candidates Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. DeSantis receives 50% to Biden's 48%, while Haley holds a larger lead 53% to Biden's 44%. These results include initially undecided voters who were then asked to choose one of those candidates. Five candidates will take the stage tonight at NBC's Republican presidential primary debate. The debate comes a day after Democrats had an impressive showing in several states during the off-year elections, which could be a bigger challenge for Republicans as they hope to unseat President Biden and take full control of Congress next November. The big question is whether any candidate will set themselves apart as the chief challenger to former President Donald Trump. Ellis Barr has the latest. Debate night in Miami has five Republican presidential hopefuls looking ahead to 2024 while reflecting on last night's election results that brought big wins for Democrats on abortion rights in Ohio, Kentucky and Virginia, continuing a winning streak on the issue since Roe v. Wade was overturned. The reality is anything on abortion right now is not working for Republicans. President Biden claiming victory despite his recent dismal polling, noting voters vote, polls don't. But Democrats we spoke to are worried for 2024. I don't think um, he should step aside, but I do think that it would be good to have another strong uh, Democrat candidate on the ticket. Republicans looking to capitalize on voter qualms. I think the debates are about Joe Biden. I don't look at it as about being uh, Ron DeSantis versus Donald Trump. With the overwhelming Republican frontrunner, former President Trump, again choosing to skip the debate and rally outside Miami instead, rivals Chris Christie, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Tim Scott are fighting to break through. Are you open to any candidate right 100, now? 100%. I'm open. Undecided voters feeling all eyes on them. The people who want independent voters are typically just trying to sway an independent voter versus really just doing their job. I want to dive deeper into that. Maybe we are the central ones that kind of maybe can make a, a difference in the country here. Voters hoping for consensus and looking for clarity as Republican candidates prepare to make their pitch. In Miami, Alice Barr, NBC News. A Wisconsin lawmaker is addressing mental health in the classroom. Coming up, we'll hear his plan to get students the help they need. That's after Weather with Jeff, right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever and get free carpet installation on any area of your home, one room, or your entire house. Only at Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale. Our prices will floor you. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one nerve care company. Nervive contains ALA to relieve nerve aches and B-complex vitamins to fortify healthy nerves. Try Nervive and try Nervive Pain Relieving Roll-On. My frequent heartburn had me taking antacid after antacid all day long. But with Prilosec OTC, just one pill a day blocks heartburn for a full 24 hours. For one and done heartburn relief, Prilosec OTC, one pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. 
ready to get the ball rolling on your local sports coverage? Then be sure to check out Sports Watch 12. The Sports Watch 12 team travels around the state to keep you up to date on game scores from local high school games to professional teams across Wisconsin, featuring live reports from WJFW's award-winning sports team. Join Saul Meyer, Will Harrelson, and Drew Chelly for Sports Watch 12 every night at 10 p.m. on News Watch 12. When an inexperienced Whole Foods driver tipped his truck over while pulling off the interstate to take a break, a bus carrying a high school band ran into the overturned semi. The crash killed five people and injured dozens of others. Two of the victims' families hired Habish, Habish, and Rotier. The settlements they received totaled over four and a half million dollars. And the skill expended by the Habish team is head and shoulders above one phone call and a quick settlement. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. NBC News hosts the Republican presidential debate, moderated by Lester Holt and Kristen Welker. Joined by Hugh Hewitt, how would the candidates confront the critical challenges at home and abroad as the next commander-in-chief? Tonight at 8 p.m. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, everyone, tonight we have an all-new show. John Oliver will be here. Comedian Matt Reif will be joining us. And we'll have a performance from Black Pumas. It's a great show tonight. New Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon on NBC. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever and save $300, $600, or even $1,000 on your hard surface flooring purchase. Only at Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale. Our prices will floor you. Well, today was fun. Some rain, some snow, some fog out there as well. Kind of a dreary day across the region right now with temperatures hanging out in the 30s. Now, tomorrow is going to be about the same but less rainy tomorrow. And then we're going to crank up some heat over the weekend as 40s and 50s are back in the seven-day forecast. Right now it is 40 in Tomahawk, also for Medford, 43 for points. So it's comfortable out there. But with the drizzle and wind, it feels much cooler across the region right now. Uh, but here's the story. The warmer temperatures are right there, and they are are going to make a run for us beginning most likely on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. It's going to be a much warmer week next week. Here it goes. So 40 tomorrow, 37 for Friday, 39 for Saturday, and a warm front comes through on Sunday. Maybe a couple sprinkles late Sunday. Look what happens. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, firmly in the 50s. So here we go. Warmer temperatures are on the way. And here's the outlook uh, for temperature-wise across the U.S. For into late November, we're talking well above Above average temperatures across the Midwest and the Great Lakes, East Coast in there as well. So overall, we do have warmer temperatures on the way, just not quite yet. Out there now, though, so the fog out you see out there now is not going to lift very quickly at all tonight. So if you're driving tomorrow morning, you know, 4, 5, 6 a.m., get ready for some dense fog across the region once again. But overall, the really cool temperatures and the kind of the mist out there are going to go away. It's going to feel warmer tomorrow with a little bit of sunshine throughout the afternoon as all of this is moving that way. The rain showers are ending. Uh, still some drizzle left over tonight. But overall, the clearing line is about right in there that is moving in our direction. So we're going to get a little bit of sunshine across the region for tomorrow as all of this pushes toward Ontario. By way there, they could see a foot of snow tonight. For us, though, this system is going that way. We are in a drying out phase now with lots of cloud cover tonight, breaking up well after midnight. And there's that clearing line there pushing this way. So by tomorrow morning, there could be some sunshine across the region. Not a lot, just a little. It's going to be a pretty nice day across the area for tomorrow. Our forecast though tonight though is drizzle and a couple flurries out there. Low temperatures down near 31. Decreasing clouds late with that southeast wind gusting near 20. For tomorrow uh, it's going to change, right? So lots of clouds around to partly cloudy skies, but really windy tomorrow. That west wind could gust near 40 with air temperatures near 40. It's going to be a windy day tomorrow, right? And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwoods Furniture. A mattress shows a drier stretch of weather on the way. Uh, warming temperatures Saturday after 39, Sunday 45, and look at this. Here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, high temperatures back in the 50s. Jessica. Since the end of the pandemic, the topic of mental health has reached nearly all corners of the globe. Here in Wisconsin, the issue has sparked legislative action to tackle mental health issues in schools. Newswatch 12's Jake Force spoke to one of Wisconsin state representatives and has more. This is real life. This is happening. Um, I see it every single day. It shouldn't be an issue. Any student here that needs the therapy or 
the mental health services will be able to get that one way or the other. Last week, State Representative Shans Green testified before the Assembly Committee on Education to set up a mandated distribution process for the Department of Public Instruction's mental health training programs. While Green greatly appreciates the DPI's work, he says that it needs to be more widespread. They're running 90% of the race and quitting. We just need to get it across the finish line, get it into the hands of school boards and teachers and staff so they can utilize it. And that way they can refer to the plan that the school board puts together and we can get these kids the right treatment that they need. But some communities in Wisconsin are leading their own charge in this fight. Leona Middle and High School Principal Jason Bertrand says his district has been very proactive in emphasizing mental health, noting that Leona is a, quote, trauma-sensitive school where students have telehealth meetings with therapists three times a month. We have mental health emergencies and mental health crisis happen. So it's working with whether it's a therapist, uh, the hospital, all being on the same page to help the student or help the staff member. And Bertrand says it's important that staff members are not forgotten in tackling mental health issues. The big thing is a dysregulated adult is not going to help a student regulate at all. So if a student is throwing a fit or swearing or if there's a fight or a student struggling with some mental health issues, what can you do to yourself to regulate yourself so that you can help the student? Representative Green seconded this notion, saying that the key is empowering teachers. Teachers and, and staff at our school districts are the ones that deal with kids and every day, and they're the ones that are going to identify and see the issues that these kids are dealing with. So that's a big push to get just make it available to the, to the right people. An important issue. Thank you, Jake. Well, it's National Signing Day and athletes from across the area are putting pen to paper. Coming up, Drew Chelly will break down where some of our local athletes are going to college. Over 40% of Wisconsin is covered in forests. Forestry partners take great pride in providing healthy forest ecosystems that everyone can enjoy. Trees and forest products are important to our daily lives. Active forest management supports the role trees play by keeping forests healthy, creating robust wildlife habitats, as well as providing abundant clean air and water. By being good stewards of this abundant natural resource and purchasing products from our certified Wisconsin forests, your choices help keep Wisconsin forests thriving. Visit us online to learn more. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Design your door your way with Mastercraft's easy step-by-step -step designer. Or visit our stores and choose from our great selection of in-stock doors today. Get this six-panel ready-to-paint interior door for just $99.99 after rebate. Designer's Image vinyl tiles are perfect for updating your home. They feature self-adhesive backing for a fast installation. Silver Series vinyl tiles are only 89 cents each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. The next generation of streaming is here. Introducing Spectrum One Stream with internet, advanced Wi-Fi, mobile, and now TV. With the all-new Zumo Stream Box, it's streaming simplified. Get Spectrum One Stream with fast and reliable internet for $49.99 a month, free advanced Wi-Fi, a free unlimited mobile line, and a free Zumo Stream Box when you add Spectrum TV. Go to spectrum.com slash stream, a Spectrum store, or call 833-976-4999. The pain level was over 10. There's days where I just sat and cried and, and asked the good Lord to take me. And my doctor recommended that I go to Good Feet and try the arch supports. And I took about three, four steps, turned around and went and sat back down and started to cry. It was the first time that I had no pain. I'm not an actor. I want people to know my testimony. I want them to know what arch supports can do from Good Feet. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. Northwoods Furniture and Mattresses Countdown to Black Friday Sales Event is going on now. Instead of one sale day, we have incredible storewide savings all month long. Save on home furnishings from the leaders in quality furniture, Lazy Boy, Flex Steel, and more. Black Friday savings on name brand mattresses from Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, Stearns, and Foster, and more. Overstocks and clearance items are priced to go. Stop in our two locations in Eagle River with exceptional selection, service, and savings. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. It is National Signing Day where high school athletes all across the country are signing their letter, letters of intent to compete at the collegiate level. One of those athletes happens to be right here in our area and she is one of the best around. 
Northland Pines, Nora Grembin signed her national letter of intent to run for the University of Wisconsin, where she will stay in the Badger State to compete for the Badgers. Grembin says that it, it is an honor to represent her home state at the highest level. I just felt really connected and really comfortable there. It felt like home. Um, but also, I just want to run for my state, represent my state well. I just want to hopefully help Wisconsin make the nationals again and hopefully bring home a Big Ten title one time. In the state track meet last season, Grembin suffered an injury that halted her quest for a triple crown in distance running. However, a few months later, she was able to bounce back as she won the state individual cross-country meet and is now a Division I signee. It's so rewarding. I'm just so grateful. Um, obviously, I wouldn't have been able to do all of that without my coaches and my family um, and also my teammates and my friends. Grembin still has her final high school track season coming up in the next few weeks, and then she is off to Madison. Plenty of excitement at Mosinee High School this morning as five athletes signed their national letters of intent to continue their athletic careers at the collegiate level. For five young athletes and their family, it was a day of joy as the boys signed their NLIs. Garrett Shoup will be continuing his career at the Division I level on the baseball field just like his father did. Shoup committed to play baseball for North Dakota State, a moment he has dreamed of his whole life. Obviously really exciting. I've been working for this like my whole life and always wanting to go to Division I, play baseball. That's been my goal since I was really little. Since my dad went and played at Minnesota, it's always been like my goal to go and follow his footsteps. Also making his baseball commit was, commitment was Cameron Zebel, who will be staying in state to play ball at UW Stout and was excited to sign alongside his teammates. It's really cool. Um, we all work very hard on and off the field. Um, very good people, very good friends here, uh, very good teammates. Um, so we all, we all deserve it, and it's definitely a good feeling. It was an exciting day for the boys and the families as they celebrated the next steps in their athletic careers as they make their college commitments official. We'll be right back after the break. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Game Time Sportsbook is now open inside Mole Lake Casino. Place a bet on your favorite sports team and watch them win on one of our two dozen big screen televisions while enjoying amazing refreshments at our sports bar and lounge. Our casino floor has been updated with dozens of new and exciting game titles, as well as the new Casa Mexicana restaurant serving authentic Mexican cuisine. And don't forget about the coffee pot proudly serving Starbucks. Get your lucky break at Mole Lake. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we're the cold weather experts, offering unbeatable deals on the gear and supplies you need to get ready for winter. Right now, name brand tires are buy three, get one free, with up to $100 in consumer rebates on select sets of four. Save $5 on Blaine's Platinum Automotive Batteries. Stay toasty with these heated seat cushions or blankets, $24.99. Rewards members save an extra 5 bucks, And keep hands warm with 10 packs of grabber hand warmers, just $5.99. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. For 46 years straight, more of you have trusted Ford F-Series trucks to help save the day. Stretch the weekend, pull, or tow just about anything, anywhere. That's because they're built Ford tough. And it's why Ford F-Series are America's best-selling trucks 46 years straight. And for that, we thank you. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Only at your local Ford dealer. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV, pool, darts, and more. Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. All right.
Eric, Drew, and Jessica. Lots of clouds out there now. Still some drizzle to get through tonight. The snow we had earlier is now gone, and we are in for a drying out phase now for several days. Uh, still cool, though, especially tomorrow, also on Friday into Saturday. Temperatures currently near 40. Uh, that's below average, but <laughs> you ready for this? Here comes the seven-day forecast. And again, cool tomorrow with a little bit of sunshine tomorrow. That's going to feel good. Same thing for Friday into Saturday. Then a warm front comes through. A couple of rain showers probably late Sunday night. And those, Drew, I know you love this, are 50s. <laughs> this is. Back in the forecast for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Next week's the week to be outside. That works. 50s that works. are on 50s. the way. Can't They're wait. coming. 50s. Thank you, Jeff. That's all the time we have. We'll see you back here at 10.